What we have behind us is the full height engineering prototype detector for the NOVA experiment. The plan here was to build a small section of the NOVA detector, one-sixth width of what we will have up in Ash River, a narrow one, and learn how the detector handles um, when we go to install it. So we built a pivoter that's nearly identical to the pivoter that will get used up at Ash River. So what we saw here today was one of the first tests we were able to do with the real full height engineering prototype detector, we called it the FHAP, on this pivoter. Now previously we've been able to test this pivoter using concrete shielding blocks, but because concrete shielding blocks are much more dense than the detector, it didn't put the center of gravity in the same location on this pivoter as the FHAP detector does. So with the FHAP detector on, in the real center of gravity, where it really is, and the true weight of the FHAP detector, we were able to pivot it, move it forward, and set it down. Everybody needed to see this. Um, this is as big a piece of plastic as we have experience with. Uh, as the uh, engineer responsible for this ha has often said, nobody builds five-story buildings out of PVC, but we're building a five-story building here, and it's not really a traditional structural material. So um, we needed to, to go through this kind of test to, uh, I, I think everybody needs to, wants to see that, wants to see it happen. We do have sensors both the top and the bottom, and their purpose is to measure the the distance between the, the plastic block and the, the steel wall that, that it's up against. And we've got a couple dozen uh, sensors on there to measure the deformations and how well it's aligned. And we want to know whether those positions, whether those distances change with time, uh, in particular when we fill it, when we load it up with water, uh, how the plastic swells, uh, whether it bows or, or creeps. Now that we've done some testing on this, on this pivoter, we've learned some things because while you can design everything on paper and think that you've got it right there's nothing like the real world to tell you what you need to tweak what we learned today for instance is that locating some video cameras in key places to allow the operator to tell when the pallet is setting down on the ground is key to do it safely so that's something that we're going to just implement up in ash river we learned it here we won't have to learn it up in Ash River where schedule is critical and there will be time pressure to put the first block up very quickly.